Thank you for joining us at facepaint.com. I'm Shelly Wapniak. I'm Jessica Mello. And now we're gonna teach you how to do lines. So the secret behind lines, keep your brush loaded with paint and keep it level, straight and up. Bring it down. If you're doing thin to thick, you start off thin with a light touch. You press down further, 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 then bring it up again to a nice light touch again. I will demonstrate on Jessica. It'll look a lot better, I promise. All right, thank you for tuning in. We are going to demonstrate how to do some lines. We're gonna use a few different brushes to show how it looks differently based on the brush or the size of the brush. Starting with a number five swirl. This is actually not meant for lines, so we use a brush that's not meant for lines. Let's see how it comes out. We have several versions. You can do the thin and keep it straight. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure the brush is straight and I'm putting an even amount of pressure on it so the line comes out pretty even and straight. I put my pinky down to keep myself level. We can do the thin to thick to thin, which is just putting pressure down and then releasing as you go up. So you start with a thin line, you add pressure, and then you thin it out and pop it back up. And then lastly, Jessica's favorite, <laughs> is when you do thin to thick by pressing down, go thin, pressing down, and then you curve it and swirl it back up. It gives you a dagger stroke, so just to demonstrate it. So she's going to put a thin line down, then she applies pressure, and then she swirls it around like that, as you can see, and it creates this beautiful dagger stroke. And then she's pushing it down again. I like to like kind of swirl, and swirl it, it. Yeah. I'm and not I, doing straight lines. Like it's okay. People say all the time to me, "You're such an artist. I can't even draw a straight line." And I always say, well, "Why would you want to?" All right. While she plays, I'm gonna load up the next brush. So. We're going to use a Mark Reed number four round. So again, we use our pinky for leverage, and we're gonna go thin, press down, and thick. And the same, and the whole time, and thin again. And the whole time we keep it straight. So this is the Mark Reed brush. You can see the difference already, I think. Um, you can keep it straight and level. Try to apply the same amount of pressure throughout the entire oh, yeah. line to get a really beautiful straight line, right? All right, so I'm gonna attempt Jessica's favorite press and swirl up to get that dagger stroke, but now she's gonna demonstrate it. Beautiful. Okay, while she does that, I'm gonna load up my Paradise Makeup 810. So you get a really thin brush for detail, and you can make a nice straight line. Again, keep it level. Keep it straight. And this one works really, really fantastic for straight lines, as you can see. Right, it's can great for outlining, it's great for control, it's fantastic if you want to get really fine details. Um, there's a lot of times where you'll find that you want to do highlights or other things. I use this brush for a lot of different extras. When you have the time to do some really nice you know, fun highlights and extras on my ear design. I find that this brush can be very useful for that. Thanks again for joining us at facepaint.com. I'm Shelly Wapniak. I'm Jessica Mello. Like us, share us, and uh, please come back. Mwah. Bleep 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 bleep